All right, since I was already down here, I thought I would just show you the rocket mass heater. Um, let's see here. So how to operate the rocket mass heater. You can actually go to YouTube and there's a lot of people who have these and they show you lighting it. I don't want to light it here in the middle of summer. <laughs> it get really hot in here. Um, but what you would do is you start off with your, um, your little wood, or actually put newspaper. Um, you stick newspaper all the way down in here and back. And then that, when you light that newspaper, it creates a draft. So it'll start it going. Uh, what you want to do is probably, what we do is simple. We just crack this, um, crack this door a little bit so that uh, there is airflow in. Just like a half of an inch is, is fine so that um, there's airflow in. This is a two-story home, so this home, potentially, if the wind's blowing a certain way, it can create a draft to suck back into the home um, if someone's opening the front door or something and you're trying to light it at the same time. But once you get your newspaper down there, then you just um, you set up these little ones. And you want to set them up right near the, um, the back of this. And then you just get those all the way across the back, and then um, and and then you light your newspaper and you and those will start going. Now with these rocket mass heaters, it's interesting, but the more little pieces you put and you fill up this area, the better it runs because it kind of I don't know how, why that is it, because there's a draft in there and it sucks the air through the wood, and you want to use um, smaller pieces. You don't want like one log to fill up this whole thing. But you do want to kind of fill this up. And if you wanted to like uh, restrict the flow or something, someone took my brick. Um, you take a, a, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's where it should be. Uh, if you want to restrict the flow, so you have some wood sticking up here. Um, if you restrict the flow a little bit of air, it actually draws air through the wood better. And you just put this brick up here. Say the wood is right here. Um, then that will force the air to go through that wood and it just burns a little bit better. Or you can just use, you know, a lot of wood and, and just kind of fill up. You kind of have to babysit it. Don't leave this going um, when you leave the home because, um, I don't know, things just not safe to do. Uh, that's why we don't have carpet right next to it, obviously. But um, So yeah, um, if it's not going real well, you might want to clean it out like we cleaned this out. Uh, we haven't cleaned out in here in a year, but we didn't really use it much last year. But this this whole barrel just removes. Um, it has this caulking around here. And it, I'd just say, if you want to get the soot out of there or scoop out any um, ashes from inside of there, um, this, this barrel will come up. And if you force it a little bit, it will come loose. And then you use caulking. It's a special caulking for heat heat stuff, uh, 600 degrees. So then you just put caulking around and you put the barrel, um, or put the barrel down, just caulk around the edges. You can see the caulking here. And um, so that seals off real, real well. And if you're gonna do this, just put a little mark on the barrel and then mark uh, like on the, the cob here. Um, so you know exactly, because it's not perfectly round, you want it to seat exactly like it is right now. Uh, so when you put it back, you'll put it in the exact right spot. If you want to add cob to this, um, I just use the clay that's right outside. Um, it's like a red clay around here. And I mix half clay and half um, Portland cement. And that's how you get this. Or I think it's just like a concrete. Yeah, any concrete really. And that's how you get this like um, outer thing. And it sometimes it cracks. You can see some cracks. And uh, we started to do some repair here. Uh, we really you just you want to add a whole layer to this. Uh, we didn't even use it hardly. Oh, we used it a couple of days last year. It's just kind of an extra thing. It's just so easy to turn on the um, mini split or the central AC, you know, and not do this. But it's fun. Uh, you just kind of have to babysit a little bit. You have to use little smaller pieces of wood, not big ones, but you know, cut two or two inch, you know, size wood to put in there. And then when you're done, uh, make sure it burns down and then put this on. This has caulking around it so it, it um, seals off. So you don't want a bunch of smoke um, eventually drawing back in the house. And I was gonna also say with this, um, there is a, a out here, if you see that, that's like a little um, blower fan. And 
It's one of these plugs here. Which one is it? When you turn on this blower, it's this one. I think it's this one. Wait, no. I can't hear it running. No, it might be this other one. So it's the one that's kind of like a has a little pyramid on the controller. Um, this what this does is just increases the flow. There's two exhaust. So um, it's one of these anyway. Uh, it does that exhaust fan. Now you don't have to use that, but the thing is, is this warms up this mass here and it warms up the home. And I was just going to show you really quickly um, in the in the greenhouse here. Um, this there's two exhausts that come out of here and one goes through a thermal mass out here so it warms up the concrete that will warm your greenhouse in the winter time too so that little fan um you don't have to have this in fact if it breaks you know it's not a big deal to replace it or not but uh, it just increases the flow to the greenhouse side and it creates a better draft you know when you're lighting it and stuff it takes about 30 minutes to warm up and really be cooking real good um, I was going to say, like, for this deal, um, there is no code for this. So when the inspector comes in, I think it's tomorrow, um, he's going to be confused because a rocket mass heater has no, there's no codes for it. In fact, um, in Adair County, there are no codes here. So, you know, when you do an inspection, I guess it's just take it for what it's worth. There are no codes. Like, codes exist, but they just don't. They don't apply here in Adair County. You'd have to be in the city limits, and it might be different in Texas. I don't know, but different counties do it differently. But there's no official code here, so it gives you a little bit of leeway to have like more experimental fun stuff to do, and not have someone crawling down your neck to say, "Oh, that's not code." Well, there is no code for it. <laughs> there's no code for this. So the hot air coming out of here is not really hot. It's like uh, the air of a um, like a dryer exhaust. So that's why I could use a plastic vent here. And this is kind of like air duct stuff here. And that's why I don't have to have like special heat protection there on the exhaust going up. It's because, um, because it's not hot, like it's just warm air. Um, so the inspector, I hope he, I hope he, I can explain it to him, but yeah, there's just no code for that. So it just might be something I don't know what it'll put on an inspection, but um, normally you put like, this is super hot on like a, like a fireplace and normally you put like a boot around here and have protection. But as you can see, this is not burning anything. It's just warm air. And I, obviously I wouldn't have it next to wood or the plastic if it was like fireplace type air. So hopefully he understands that because I don't know, you don't really need to change anything out here. Everything is exactly as as it should be, as I designed it. Um, so that is the rocket mass heater. And if there's a little comment about it in, in the inspection, then it's probably going to be about the exhaust there. Uh, but hopefully he'll understand it's the heat gets pulled off here in the concrete. And so there's not heat going. It's warm air, but it's not hot out there. And we've used it for, what, three years now or more? Wow, it's been a little while. And so, yeah, this would all be melted and burnt up if, if it didn't work. So anyway, that's, it could be a little quirky. So use it if you want. If, if it's too much of a hassle, then, you know, it looks cool. Just sits, sits here, but um, that's how you use it if you want to use it. All right, we'll do that one and think about something else to do around here.